going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com behind the camera. That's my hand. How's it going? And this is the Motorola Click XT with Moto Blur for T-Mobile. Uh, not on the market yet. There is no release date officially. There is no launch price officially. But I have one anyway. Go figure. That's how it works. Met with the folks from Motorola yesterday, uh, late yesterday, and got the lowdown on the Click XT. And they gave me one so I could show it to you. So here we go. Uh, while I'm doing this, I, this is random, but I want to say congratulations to Jeff Bridges for winning an Oscar. I know it's kind of random, but I was setting up the camera to do this video, and I was like, oh yeah, the Oscars. Did any of you watch the Oscars the other night? I did not catch the Oscars. I don't generally watch the awards show. I get kind of kind of bored with award shows. But, uh, you know, I heard some of the results. And that's cool, man, that the dude won an Oscar. Back when I was a teacher, I had a boss, the uh, head mistress of... Uh, the school I worked at. That's what they call it when it's a, a woman, not a man. A man's a headmaster, a woman's a headmistress, go figure. And uh, one time she called me the dude. She was like, Noah, you're the dude. And I was like, I'm not the dude. Jeff Bridges is the dude. Anyway, some of you might not be old enough to have any idea what the heck I'm talking about. In the box, you get a uh, USB cable, micro USB to USB. You get a three and a half millimeter stereo headset, stereo with a remote control in line. You get a, an AC adapter, the USB base that you plug into the cable, so they go like that, and then they plug into the phone. You get an extra back plate, I'll show you that in a second. You get a start guide, some safety information. Uh, you get a little thing about swipe, because yes indeedy, the Click XT has the standard Android uh, keyboard and it has the swipe keyboard, and then you get a SIM card. Apparently I got two SIM cards because I'm extra special or because the PR people put one in there to pre-activate it. Anyway, and here's the phone itself. Uh, Android 1.5 is what they told me, although I'm going to double check that because uh, somebody told me last night they thought it was 1.6, but the PR people told me 1.5. So we'll, uh, we'll check that when we turn the phone on, which we're going to do right now. And there you go. Uh, you can see on the front here it's got a trackpad. Uh, it's got a camera button on the side, power lock button on the side. They're, they're making my job easy. I just read off this thing. Volume control on the side, rocker switch. You hold down. I bet you didn't know this, but if you hold down on the uh, the volume down key, it'll silence the phone. Uh, and then your four buttons, menu, search, home, back. It's a capacitive touchscreen. It has a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash on the back. 3.5 millimeter audio jack up top there. Pop the back plate off if I'm able to, which I'm apparently not able to. This is I. Why is it that I always fail with battery covers? For a while, it was Nokia's in particular, and I think it's just me. I think I'm just bad with battery covers. It's so random. Everybody has an Achilles heel. As a teacher, my Achilles heel was that I talk too much. As a phone reviewer, apparently that comes in handy, but my Achilles heel is battery covers. I can hear you now typing away comments saying, no, Noah, as a phone reviewer, you talk too much also. Fair enough, I'll take it, whatever. But can I get the battery cover off of this thing? Am I right, look, this is what it says. Detach your SIM card, press the cover release button while pulling the back cover away from the phone. Now look, they do this with one finger, so I'm going to do it just like they do. One finger. Push, pull away. It's not that easy. I, I don't think it's just me. I think it's not that easy. You know, I was going to take off the cover to show you the battery, set the uh, micro SD slot, show you how you snap the other back plate on. Oh, here it comes. All right. I did it. So there you go, two, two gigabyte micro SD, I'm such, oh, fail. Two gigabyte micro SD card included, uh, officially supports up to 32 gigs, they told me. Uh, here's your battery, there's your SIM card slot. And then you get this extra cover. So if you want to make like prints and go purple, you can. So we'll snap the purple on here. It's like two phones in one. So you get the purple, uh, kind of glossy finish, moto blur or the black textured finish, Moto Blur. So there you go, we'll go purple. Here's the purple. 
That looks kind of nice, actually. Snap. And back to the phone itself. It's a Moto Blur phone, obviously. Um, it's got the GPS. It's got the 5 megapixel camera. It's got all that business. Uh, I will use an existing account. All right, so we're logged in. Uh, we're accepting the uh, location consent so you can use all the Google business. And uh, here you go. So the phone, you know, it actually, it's interesting because this phone kind of makes me think of the MyTouch 3G and how when the MyTouch 3G came out, I was kind of lukewarm on it because it's just kind of a basic Android phone. And at that time, like the HTC Hero had come out with Sense and, you know, there's some other kind of more advanced Android phones. But I had a few friends who really liked the MyTouch who were like, no, dude, because it feels so good in the hand. It's like you can use it one handed trackball, all that stuff. And this is like that to me, but with just more features. Uh, nice and lightweight, very easy to use one-handed. The rounded corners, I mean, I, just out of, you know, seeing it at the, the press briefing yesterday and then, you know, just having it right now. But it feels good in the hand. Uh, it's light, like I said. It's, um, you know, the rounded corners make it easy to hold. Haptic feedback. It's uh, a capacitive touchscreen. And so actually, you go into the browser... Um, I should have turned on the Wi-Fi so it would go a little faster, but that's okay. So we'll go to the browser here, and uh, so I don't know if this page will do it because it's web to go. So here's your T-Mobile web to go homepage. It's got an accelerometer built in, so you can. Uh, and look at that, pinch and zoom, pinch and zoom out of the box. Um, which, you know, some people don't care about. I, I think it, it's just really a great feature. Makes it a lot easier to get around. Pinch and zoom out of the box on the browser and also in the photo gallery from what they told me. Um, also, the phone supports flashlight. Not flashlight as in it acts like a flashlight, although I'm sure it'll do that. Yeah, Android 5.1. There you go. I mean, five one one five. It's Android five, kids. Uh, Android one point five uh, with Moto Blur on top. Um, and if you've seen Moto Blur, you know how it works. Uh, picture gallery. I don't know if there are any pictures preloaded in here. No picture found. We'll take a camera. Take, man, I'm gonna learn how to talk. We'll take a picture. So, yeah, great, we'll take a picture of that. That's fine. And, so it's not the fastest phone in the world, but not too bad. It's basically like a click in terms of, you know, its innards. So you can rotate the photo and you can double tap. Should be able to double tap to zoom in. Hmm. There you go. You can zoom in with the uh, pinch to zoom. You get a little nice. Uh, map mode, you know, mini map overview of the photo. No double tap, thought you could double tap as well, but I guess it's just pinch to zoom. So very cool, pinch to zoom on the browser as well as the photo gallery. All right, and then the uh, other thing as we mentioned on the device here is that you've got the uh, swipe system for messaging, for uh, text input, if you want to use it. So we'll do a uh, text message here. I'm kind of glossing over the Moto Blur stuff because there have been a lot of Moto Blur devices lately. Um, and we can get more into that later. You can go watch one of the videos on uh, you know, one of the other new Moto Blur devices. And more, I just kind of want to show you what's going on with, uh, with this device itself. So you've got the regular keyboard, Android keyboard, and you can rotate the phone and get the widescreen keyboard mode. Uh, and then you can also, and I think I may have to go back to main settings here. So we'll go to main settings. 
and we will go to, and you can see Quick Office comes pre-installed, uh, Shazam, Slacker Radio, Telenav. We'll show you that in your connected music app in just one second. Go to settings and text input options. And so here's swipe. So we'll turn on input method. We'll go swipe. I just want to type my message. So, you know, the quick brown. Oh, whoops, that was my fault. And you can still tap. Fox, right? That shows Fox, right? No? Fox jumped. Yeah, okay, no, no recipients. I get it. Would like to have that go away. Not going to let my, uh, you know, <laughs> See, it's all supposed to be doing my thumbs, supposed to be doing my fingers. But that's the deal with swipe. Or again, like I said, you can use the Android keyboard. Uh, if you're in widescreen mode, will it auto rotate? Yeah. Or you know, you can use it in widescreen mode. You can use the swipe. Or I mean, you can even, uh, you know, still type normally that way. So that's the deal with swipe. Uh, and like you know, like I showed you, you can switch back and forth Android or swipe. And obviously, it's an Android phone, so you can install your own you know, keyboard replacements and that kind of stuff. And we'll go real quick here back to the applications and show you the new Music app, which is uh, new on this phone, Connected Music Player, first uh, device to have it, I believe, is what they told me yesterday. But you got My Music, Radio, Music, uh, Videos and News, Community Song Identification. So there's no music on the phone, I don't think. Actually, let's go back and see. Do I have any music on here? preloaded with anything no okay so we'll go to music and you can search music videos uh, on YouTube you can look at go TV or you can have your own library here so I'll search videos and um, I will look for I've been on this Pink Floyd kick lately so oops now see I should have swiped there because right uh, I don't it doesn't matter anything any Pink Floyd. And so the app, you know, kind of takes you into your your music search on YouTube here. We'll get some Pink Floyd videos happening. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Yeah, all right. We'll play some shine on you, Crazy Diamond. All right, so here's the video playing. And what we'll do now is we'll go back and then we'll see, you know, what else we get. Tune Wiki, radio. So we'll go back to Tune Wiki here and uh, we'll go to Music Maps, playing near you. Any concerts going on near me? And so there you go, you get the idea, you get your. Uh, your you know easy search of your music library you can then search for um for videos online and other information online streaming radio song identification uh and then you know you can see what's going on so i don't know let's see who's playing in san francisco there oh yeah ich brauche das gif oh it's terrific great i haven't used tune wiki much so i don't know what that means somebody's playing pavement though that's cool i like pavement uh so we'll go to soundhound tell me what's playing right now Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there, in there, in there? Just nod if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? All right. Now, the song I was trying to sing was comfortably known by Pink Floyd. And uh, clearly, uh, I'm going to give benefit of the doubt here to the app because my singing is horrible. Uh, I was not singing Hank Williams' Nickelback. Mukesh, Luis Miguel, <laughs> I was singing Hannah Montana. So there you go. Uh, we'll try it out with some actual music that actually sounds like it's actually on key, and I'm sure it'll perform better. But there you go, a quick look at the Click XT, 
for T-Mobile, one of the new Moto Blur phones. Look, I have another new Moto Blur, Moto Blur phone right here, the, uh, the backflip. And, uh, you know, similar screen size, just a different vibe. The uh, touchscreen phone, all touch, tablet style, you know, a little bit bigger, rounder bezel. Fits nicely in the hand, though. You get the trackpad. Uh, you don't get the keyboard like you do in the backflip or like on the original Click, which is a T-Mobile device. Again, uh, no information yet on launch date or pricing, but you do get two, uh, two snap-on covers in the device, or in the box, the purple and the uh, kind of dark gray black there. So yeah, who cares how much it costs? You get two covers. Much, much more on the Click XT, all the new Motorola Moto Blur phones over on phonedog.com. We got videos on the backflip and the devour written information as well. So you can check all that out. And uh, CTA is coming up in a couple weeks. We'll be out in Vegas with all the new releases. So until next time, that's me right there. I'm Noah. The website's Phone Dog. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye -bye.